Hey guys, welcome back to the Blue Bonnet Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how I harvest my matured loofah. This morning when I went outside, I found two that were pretty brown and crispy, so I thought uh, I'll go ahead and show y'all a step by step of how I do this. It is so easy, so easy. So before I remove the seeds, I really like to take a big serrated knife and cut off both ends. It just seems to be a lot easier to get the seeds out and to get the skin off. So there's a little peek inside there. You can see a bunch of the black seeds. So I got a big tub out. I'm just gonna bang this loofah gourd right against the, the side and the bottom. So all of the loose seeds will just fall right out. And a lot of that papery little coating that's on the seeds, there's a ton of that inside these loofah gourds. So this gets a good amount out and you do not have to be gentle as you can see, you can bang it pretty hard. My kids always get so excited when they see loofah on the porch. As you can see, I had a little helper here. This is one of his favorite things to do. He thinks this is so exciting to get to bang this loofah around. So yeah, you just do that until the seeds stop easily falling out. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the second one here. So now that I have most of the loose seeds out, I'm going to work on getting this outer skin off. As you can see, I'm just kind of running my hands along the inside of the skin and it really will just come off in a giant sheet. It's a very strange texture. It's papery but leathery at the same time. See? Look at that. So yeah, I'm just running my fingers on the inside and it comes off. It's this sponge inside it is very resilient and sturdy you do not have to be super careful with it it is still pliable but it's really surprisingly strong so there see it just rolls right out so and it's not messy and as you can see there are still seeds and lots of little pieces of gunk inside so we're going to need to wash this in a big bucket of water So I have my water. This is just plain tap water. I don't add any soap or detergent to this. As you can see, we just stick it right in the water and kind of massage it and squeeze it so all of the extra seeds pop out. See, yeah. My children absolutely love this step all as well. And this really does a great job to clean all of the excess leftover little bits out of the sponges. So, and thankfully, they don't stay this brown so and just plain water cleans it so good so we're just going to for about 10 minutes just kind of swish this around in the water and just try to get all of the seeds out
All right, so after about 10 minutes, I really like to refresh my water just to get all of the tiny little extra bits out. The water will not get nearly as dirty as the first batch, but this just gets all the, all the extra stuff. So I'm just gonna, there's about six or seven seeds that I still need to get out. So I'm gonna get all of that out and make sure there's no little clumps of loofah inside. Just keep massaging it until I get all the seeds out. So after I got out all the seeds, I took it into the kitchen and gave it a good rinse under the faucet. And now I'm going to lay it out on just an old kitchen towel and let it dry in the sun for about 24 hours. All right, so tomorrow I'm going to give this one more really good cleaning. And then I'm probably going to give one of the sponges a light bleach bath and make a video about that showing you the difference between a natural and a bleached. So thank you so much for watching us harvest our loofah. Have a wonderful day, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.